Wagwan people, Paradise Biker here, and today we'll be reviewing this lovely beast. Okay, so this is my baby girl. This is a Jumco 250 and it's the exact look-alike of the Yamaha YZF125. So it's the exact look-alike of that bike. The company, which is Jumco, is a Jamaican brand. And I think they are the first official brand in Jamaica to, to make motorcycles, you know, or bikes. So this is their one of their premium bikes, you know, the 250. And we'll be going over some of the bells and whistles which makes this bike what it is. As I mentioned, this bike is an exact um, replica of the YZF125 so if you want to compare the two you just go ahead and, and take a look at the YZF125 and you'll see that they are the exact same thing all right so for starters everybody want to know the price of this bike the bike actually um, sells for a retail value of um, 290,000 Jamaican dollars I actually got this on a deal you know I got this on a, on, a, on a good discount so I didn't really pay the full amount so yeah links them strong um, but yes as I mentioned it is a 250 and not a 300 not a 600 but a 250 cc so it's gonna have the same sound as the regular um, single cylinder as I mentioned it's a 250 it's a single cylinder um, 250 bike so it's gonna have almost the same sound as the rig as the other bikes around it's just that um the looks is way 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 different so starting at the front what do we have um we have double caliper brake system so it's basically premium brake system that i have on this bike you know and braided brake lines if you don't know what those are braided brake lines are basically like kind of like steel or something like that and it, it kind of give you a bit more punch when it as it regards to braking so and coming up here we got um, the dash so that's the dash right there it has a little nice little animation all right so for my dash I have the speedometer right here I have the odometer right here the tachometer right here um, I have a fuel um, gauge here, gear, time and um, charge or battery voltage. So yes, it has, um, a, I think this is a 3.5 3 gallon tank right here. Um, I get at least, So that's what that's uh, about 250 the gas tank is really small but it gets pretty good gas mileage and usually I stop at the gas station once to twice a week to refuel all right so yes it has dual headlights or double headlights you know it also has the inverted forks so if you ride big bikes you will realize that the forks are those of big bikes or 600 cc's up so it's a, it gives it a really nice premium look to it you know and it, it makes it look more than what it actually is to be honest some of you may be wondering where are my mirrors well I took them off because one one side of the mirror um, wasn't really tightening down properly so it kept spinning and spinning so it doesn't make sense you have one single mirror on the bike you know it, it look off so I'm just take off the two mirror them and just make everything match up and the bike actually looks a bit meaner but me not lie, I miss my mirror them because when I'm riding I do use my mirrors alright coming down 
from the headlights we have underneath the bike we have an oil cooler which is right here yeah and uh, I, I've been working on my bike so the wires are pretty loose everywhere the oil cooler needs to be welded on but yeah it it has an oil cooler and not a, a um what's the other type of cooler called it's not liquid cool like the other bikes that have um you know you have to use your coolant and they have a fan in it this only has an oil cooler in it all right so many of you be wondering what that is it's just the oil cooler coming around here we got uh, my little shorty pipe that's actually the muffler that came with the bike it actually the muffler was about this long and one of my friends cut it down to that size so it looks really neat give the bike a nice little um, neat stance and it also gives it a nice little sound as well don't mind the music in the background that's just you know one of the community members that play play some music so around the back here um the reason why there is a space right here is because this used to exist there this thing here it used to go down in that like that and it used to look like that somewhat like that and it looks really ugly a lot of people tell me to remove it it took me a couple took me over a year to realize that it actually is ugly <laughs> so we just remove it and um, leave the bike that way at the moment <laughs> my seat isn't really in very good condition so don't pay att any attention to that coming down here you have the 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 um the rider seat um you use to open this seat you're pushing the key and you turn the key and basically it opens under this seat you have um the battery it really doesn't have any space for you to put anything besides a little rug so if you're wondering how, how much space is under that it, it's not really anything you only can maybe put a rug underneath it and maybe um, one and two spanners or, or, or stuff like that down here you have the regular rear sets just like um, big bikes and it has same almost everything you know like the 125 um, I haven't done much modifications to this bike apart from removing these horns right here. I did change this brake lever but I'm about to change it again because this ain't good. Chinese brake lever. What else? So coming down to the, the left side here. So it being a 250cc, usually regularly in Jamaica, 250 bikes have up to 5 gears and this is no exception. This bike is 5 gears, 1 down, 5 up and that's pretty much it. There isn't anything much about this bike, you know, apart from its looks. It has a single rear shock which is right there. To be honest, it's, it's, not, it's not the best. As I mentioned, it's a Chinese brand, you know, Jamco. Jamco is a Jamaican brand but the bike is Chinese. <laughs> so you, you, you know what to expect with a Chinese bike, right? And regarding the front brake, I've been having a lot of problems with the front brake because it's double calipers and I'm only using a, a single master cylinder. So I've been having some problem not having any braking power. You know, I have to be coming, you have to squeeze the lever all the way down here so if you actually get some brake. So I think I need to change the master cylinder or find a way to put on two master cylinders, one on the left, one on the right you know so that i can get some um proper brake but the brake is really good you know if once i get everything up and running again the brake will be really good so, and i'm um, still on the left side it is also carbureted so it's not fuel injected or anything special like that oh yes it has a peacock so you can it it has um reserve as well so when you're running low on gas you can switch it up mine is already on reserve switch it down for it to go on full and switch it this way for it to be turned off so yes it is a carbureted bike the carburetor is on the right side under this cover here i'm gonna open i'm gonna lift up the seat so you guys can see what's under there all right so under the seat you got your battery here i had to change the battery that came with the bike the battery that came with the bike was a uh, as water acid battery i not even remember what kind of battery it named but this is the kind of battery that you, you pour water into. This is a dry cell battery. Dry cell battery is so, so much better. One click and the bike is up and running. I do have an alarm system. 
as I mentioned it's a Chinese bike so it's a Chinese alarm system there it is and it's also on the key right here it's pretty neat pretty neat alarm system and it's a pretty good addition so that it actually came with the bike I think you can buy an alarm system for like what 4,000 Jamaican dollars up you know that's pretty neat so I've had this bike for from 27 2018 my mistake so January 2018 so I have this bike for a year and a half and to be honest it has given me a bunch of different problems but it's I think it's mainly because I wasn't maintaining it well but from you have a bike and you maintain it well then you should be good and regarding the headlights I did change them from stock let me just switch on the bike here is it and I have an LED lamp in the bike right now it's not the best usually with Yamaha bikes you know because they're they're replicating Yamaha when you turn it on one headlight comes on and when you put it on high beam the other one comes on or both of them comes on should I say so what I did was to kind of bridge that's why you see so much wire wire under there I kind of um, bridge the wire so that when it on low beam both of them come on and when it on high beam both come on um, at the moment we only have one one LED bulb in the bike that's why you're only seeing one as I mentioned I'm working on the bike it's it's a work in progress I haven't crashed it before it has fallen right where it is it it's it's falling over like literally I wash it and it was unbalanced and it just dropped over simple 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 things like that but I've never purposely dropped it or anything like that before it's a really nice machine man I mean, like, the girls them love it <laughs> oh and I've also installed some LED strips right here this can be hooked up to your indicators your running light or your um, your brake light so current currently what I did was to hook it up to my brake light and my indicators I'm gonna let you see in a moment brake light yeah and that's pretty much it for the review if there's anything that I left uncovered just let me know just leave a comment um, let me know if you want to see me review anything else about this bike or any other bike I'm trying my best to review some other bikes but it just takes some time I love this bike and I'm, I'm not really planning to sell it right now and to be honest if I sell this bike I don't know what I would do <laughs> and I have, a, I have a lot of mods planned for this bike like changing the color spraying the rims putting on, putting on a new um, muffler even um, spraying the rear sets into a different color um, I have a lot of mods even putting on some LED lights some underglow lights so the bike can look pretty in the night yo there is like a lot of things that you can do with this very bike here and even if you have a bike there's a lot of things you can do with it you know just don't limit your mind you know don't limit your mind to what you think you can think if that makes any sense <laughs> yes but um, just continue I'll be I'll be posting more videos like this review videos and stuff like that but um, thank you guys for subscribing I really appreciate it um, thank you everyone for your comments thank you guys for for bringing me up to the amount of subs I am right now so I'm gonna wrap up this video peace out guys blessed no love and respect